guys uh, welcome back to my video in this video I'll be showing you how good you how you could set up Komodo SSL in NGX uh, web server hosted in Ubuntu then I'll be showing you the demonstration in AWS so the first thing that you will need to do is uh, you will need to generate a CSR so for this uh, operation you can use any website like this one or you could use open SSL in the console to generate that one so it's nothing but a bunch of your details that's encrypted and created a creators uh, certificate signing request okay so once you do it you will come up with these things as you should know or if you don't know the upper part will be the CSR and the lower part will be the private key and just to make life easier I will always have a copy of it and if you want to know how I actually did it you can watch my previous video or a video to set up Komodo SSL in Apache 2 I've given you a full instruction there and I will just copy and paste as a backup here all right now we need this CSR key first then once you've got that one you need to head to the website where you order your SSL now you need to put a few details and verify your domain name and you will get a certificate that you can work with. If you want to know how I did it, watch my other video where I set up Komodo in Apache 2. So I've verified that one and uh, let's start doing the installation. So I will download the file here. Let me do SSH FNI online and sudo dash apt update. I will need to do is pt install and enable nginx and reload nginx. You will need to create a folder where you want to host a uh, host here website for my domain and I will paste a bunch of configs. this is the config that's required here okay now let me give index.html uh, right quit and another thing I will need to do is I will need to create our link for my conf to that site's enabled then now if I restart it and if you call install sl.online okay it looks like website is up and running now if I reload the page okay this is the same text that we created komodo to do, do, do Linux <coughs> and unzip komodo okay We got all these files and uh, key is what we will need so I will copy private key here and I will paste it and to remember uh, you will need to first install that one okay then you will need that one then paste all of them in uh, let's say certificate bundle P and the LE dot CRT okay all right so now there are only two things that we will need so final files final final all right copy I will need private key as well as bundle and that there. I will go to final, final. Okay, new SCP is line and path is home. Ubuntu and SSL. That's come on, all right. Okay. Uh, blue install. Now let me create SSL.crt. 
and copy from CRT. CRT, okay. We good. So we got all the uh, files, or technically two files that we need. Now install, okay. Now similar to patch A, we'll need for 443. Okay, so what I will do is I will just make sure these things are correct. Okay, certificate bundle and private key. Everything is in the required part system. CTO restart and the next. It's full. Okay, looks good. Now just to verify. There it is. Alright, uh, then I will make a change now I will copy from start and just and everything. We do it as well as SDML. Okay. Go to same conf file that's under rule. Install. Okay. Now I just need to point the root path into SSL HTML. I will restart and the next. And Okay, looks like uh, we got our website that we wanted and it's secure as well. Now to verify it, just copy it and go to any private window and just run it. If you see, everything is good. So that's all for now. If I missed anything, just let me know and if you got any further questions feel free to ask me i'll be definitely answering to your questions and uh, you can ask it through comments i will definitely be replying to that one so that's all for now i'll be uh, i'll see you in next videos see you bye